हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योग वर्चुअल इंस्ट्रक्टर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हब एंड स्पोक टॉपोलॉजी सो हब एंड स्पोक टॉपोलॉजी इज मेनली यूज वेयर यू हैव मल्टीपल वर्चुअल नेटवर्क्स एंड यू वांट टू कंट्रोल देम फ्रॉम अ सेंट्रलाइज्ड नेटवर्क और यू वांट टू यूज एनी शेयर्ड सर्विसेज which you can deploy it in a centralized network and all the other connected networks can use those services if i go to the next page so this shows a diagram for microsoft documentation they have a hub virtual network and it is peered or connected to other network like production and development virtual network and others and also it is via vpn gateway it is connected to a on premises network as well so this hub virtual network is acting as a hub or as a central network and all the other connected networks are acting as a spoke as you can see these spokes doesn't have direct connectivity or peering between them whatever the traffic is going through spoke one to spoke two or say spoke three to spoke four is going via our central network that means hub virtual network also what many organizations do they deploy a central controlling software to monitor the network packets so here in this case they have deployed one azure firewall so whatever the traffic is flowing in and out of these spoke network will be going via azure firewall and it will be inspected and if everything is fine then it will be forwarded to the required destination also you can see they are using other central services here like azure bastion or azure monitor to monitor the resources and also you can deploy other centralized services like some active directory server or you can deploy some patching server like ssm this is how hub and spoke topology work here is the architecture of the lab which we are going to follow today we are going to deploy three virtual network one will be the hub virtual network and others will be spoke one and spoke two network and also we are going to deploy virtual machine inside each respective network so whatever traffic flows between the spoke will go via the hub network or more specifically go via hub vm it will be acting as a our central virtual appliance so let's jump into our lab for today So for the lab here I am in my Azure portal home and in the interest of time I have already deployed three virtual network which are hub spoke one and spoke two and this is the side image and the location of hub and spoke two is east US and where spoke one is residing in west US. and also i have deployed three virtual vms in the respective networks and also i have logged in into each vm to save time I spoke to vm and this is our hub vm so let's start doing the remaining operation so if i go to my hub network from the left hand side menu if i go to the peerings currently i don't have any connectivity with any of the spoke network and also if i go to my say suppose spoke to vm and try to ping this particular ip from spoke one but before ping we have to allow the icmp packets from the operating system level so i am going to type this command 
So this command, I'm going to put this in the description. So here you can see we are allowing the ICMP packets from the Windows firewall for the IP4 addresses. So spoke 1 is done. Now if I go to the spoke 2. So spoke 2 is done. Now hub is also done. Now the IP address of our spoke 2 VM is 10204. So if I go back to my spoke 1 and ping. I am not able to because currently there is no connectivity and even if I try to connect to the hub VM that means 10.0.04 I will be getting the same result. So here also I am not able to ping. For the ping to work first between the two virtual network we have to establish the pairing. So for that I will be going back to the uh, virtual networks and will then go to the hub and from the left hand side menu I will be going to the pairings and click on add pairings. So whenever we add pairing it create two pairing links one in this virtual network and another in the remote virtual network. So let us give the name this will be hub to spoke one. And the pairing name will be spoke one to hub. And I will be leaving these settings as the default. Virtual network I will be choosing spoke one and I will be selecting this option. Allow traffic to current virtual network. Let me copy this in the notepad for the better visibility. So I believe you can see it better now. So it says allow traffic not originating from inside the peer virtual network into this virtual network. That means we are going to allow the traffic to the spoke one which is not originating from the hub. In our case whatever is originating from spoke two coming to the hub and going to the spoke one. So we are allowing the traffic in spoke one which is not originating in the hub but actually originated from spoke two. So that's why we are selecting this option. And other two options are regarding the gateway transit in the next lecture where we will be creating site to site connections with the on-premises data center or point to site connection with the individual work decision. So there we will be using that. So I'm clicking on that and as you can see it is adding two virtual network peering connections. One for this network and other for the peer network. Now we'll be creating second connection which will be hub to spoke to. And this name will be spoke to hub. And here I will be selecting spoke to. And again allow traffic to current virtual network. And click on add. So now our peering is done. Now if I go back to my spoke one VM and ping hub VM. I am able to get the response back. But if I ping spoke to VM. I won't be getting any response. So for this to work. Let's go back to the Azure portal and here I will be going first to the our hub VM. In the hub VM I will be going to the network and here I will be going to the network interface. From the left hand side menu I will be going inside IP configurations and will be clicking on enable IP forwarding. Click on apply. Now our hub VM will forward the traffic whatever comes to it. But how the virtual network will know that whatever the traffic are coming from the spoke should go to the hub VM. So for that we have to define the custom user defined routes. For that I will go back to the home and will click on route tables. 
and I will be creating two root table, one for the each virtual network. So my spoke one network is in the best US. So I will be choosing West US and let's name it spoke one RT and review plus create and let's hit on create. Now I will go back to home and again to the root tables and here I will be creating a second one. Again the same resource group and this time I am keeping the location same as the East US because our spoke to network is in East US and I will be giving it as a name spoke to RT and hit on create. So we have both the root tables ready for us. Now if we go to spoke one RT first we are going to associate it with the respective virtual network and the respective subnet. From the left hand side menu go to the subnet and click on associate. Here spoke one virtual network and subnet will be default. In the similar manner go to the spoke to RT, click on subnets and associate. Here I will be associating it with spoke to virtual network. Now again go back to spoke one RT, click on routes. Here we will be adding our custom route. So say all traffic to spoke to. Destination type will be IP addresses that means site range of the spoke to. So if I go back to my virtual network, the site range of the spoke to is 10 to 0, 0, 16. And if I go to my virtual machines and go into hub VM, the IP address is 10.0.04. So understand what we are trying to do here. So whatever the traffic goes to this side of range, that means spoke to network, it should go via virtual appliance. And the IP address of virtual appliance is 10.0.04. In the similar manner, I will be going to the spoke to RT and will adding a custom or user defined route here. All traffic to spoke 1. So whatever the traffic is going from spoke 2 to spoke 1 should go via our hub VM. That means 10.0.0.4 and next hope type will be as you have guessed virtual appliance. And destination type will be IP addresses and destination will be side range of spoke 1 and spoke 1 side range is 10.1.0.0 slash 16. So now click on add. Now we have enabled the IP forwarding from the Azure portal and also we have added the user defined route. Now let me try to ping again the spoke to okay, no result here. So why this is not working? Though we have enabled the IP forwarding in our hub VM as well as we have created the user defined routes. Then why it is not working? Because though we have enable the IP forwarding at the Azure portal that means NIC card level but operating system still doesn't know what to do with that ICMP packet. So we have to allow the routing from the operating system level that means the Windows level. So for that let me go back to my hub VM and here I will be going 
to my server manager dashboard and click on add roles and features click on next click on next again next and here i will be choosing the role as a remote access click on next again next again next and here i will be choosing the routing so it will automatically choose direct access and vpn option as well click on next next again next and click on install it will take few minutes so till that time i am pausing this video now feature installation is done and it is saying configuration required installation succeeded on hub vm so let's hit on close and in the server manager i can see one notification so let's click on the open the getting is setting wizard and now in this prompt click on last option deploy vpn only now click on hub vm right click configure and enable routing and remote access click on next select the last option custom configuration select the last one lan routing and click on finish what it will do it will install one windows service now it is saying it has installed the service the routing and remote access service is ready to use do you want to start it yes now our service has started and we can see the status of this remote access is working so now let me go to the spoke one vm pack and now if i try to ping spoke to vm then i will be getting the response back and if i go to the spoke to vm so let me ping spoke one from here tan dot one dot Zero dot four. Here I am getting the response back as well. Now, if I do press RT, that means press root to this IP address, I can see my traffic is first going to this our hub VM. 10.0.0.4. If I go back to my hub VM, so that is also 10.0.0.4, and then it is going to the spoke one VM. So if I go back, so here 10.1.0.4 is our spoke one VM. So. This marks the end of this chapter for today. I believe you liked this lecture and you have learned something from it. So, if you have liked this lecture and learned something from it, please do provide your feedback. So, thank you for watching and have a good day ahead. Thank you.